What's poppin' and welcome back to another episode of Fletcher the Fisherman and today we're gonna be doing a little bit of pond hopping at my favorite place to do that and that is the golf course here behind me and luckily today the course is closed so no pesky golfers to deal with and I get to fish my favorite hole on the course which is 18 and I can't fish that when it's open so it's really nice to be able to get out here and fish this today. This thing is stacked with some giants. I've heard a lot of people catching 9s, 10s and 11s out of here so <laughs> hopefully that is the case today. I'm not making any promises but both times I've fished this pond I have caught 5 so I mean even a 5 pounder would uh, make me pretty happy. But far as baits we got today, I got a blade bait, a underspin, a jerk bait, and a big old Huddleston swim bait. And I have some other stuff, but that's just what I have tied on right now. And hopefully, I'm just hoping that Huddleston triggers the bite I want. It's a big 8 inch swim bait. I'm going to just slow roll that thing on the bottom. And hopefully, a big old 10 pounder just slurps it right up and I can crank back into it. But um, anyways, yeah, it's looking juicy. So let's go ahead and get started and catch us a giant. Before I go monster hunting with the big old Huddleston, I'm gonna go ahead and start out with the underspin. Nice little dainty winter bait. Get this thing out there and start cooking it back to me, or actually not cooking it. Uh, it's fishing it pretty slow, but not too slow because there's a lot of grass on the bottom. Oh, first cast, <laughs> let's go. Oh goodness, and we're starting off hot. Get on to the bank my friend they're hungry Woohoo! perfect hook set right through the top of the mouth let's pop that sucker out of there there it goes small little dude nothing nothing too crazy Whew, gotta get down low to show you all these fish today forgot my tripod but this is a solid little start first cast hopefully that's not a jinx I've had that happen a few times where I catch one on the first cast and then it just ends up being pretty flat the whole day not much going on but hopefully this is the first of many solid fish let's keep it going later buddy let's see if there's more where that guy came from get it back out there Oh, two cats in a row. Oh, yes. This one's a little bit smaller, but whew, two cats, two fish. Not too bad. There you go. Thanks, buddy. This little dude shook my white swim bait, and that was my last white one, so hopefully that doesn't uh, affect fishing too bad. But just a little small guy. Let's get him back in pretty quick. Nothing too much to see here. Later. Unfortunately, I had to switch my swim bait trailer here because that was my last Kitek one and my last white one and I just really like those swim baits a lot. They got bit a ton. I haven't used these yet. This is the only other pack of swim baits I could find around the house and I think there's some Berkeley, uh, like some kind of Berkeley ones, but haven't used these before. Hopefully they do the trick. Seems to be a little bit more durable, so hopefully it stays on here a little bit longer than two fish. There's one. Ah, oh, another little small one. Oh, spit it. That's okay. I can live without him. Oh, got popped right there. Oh God, same fish. Oh. There we go, fish on. And we stuck him right in the bush. Come on up, buddy. Get you on up. Absolutely hammered this thing. I threw it at him once and he missed it. So I threw it back and he hammered it that time. Saw a little bass, just a, another little small guy. Nothing, nothing too big, but I've fished from all the way over there to down here. And 
the story is there is a lot of moss, just tons and tons of moss. And what I have on me right now is not the best uh, to get around all this like bottom grass and moss and stuff like that. So we might have to switch ponds. I'm surprised it's this grassy with it being cold recently, but good little fish. There's a bass sitting right here in front of me. Let's see if I can flip right to him. Got right by his face. Ooh. He did not like that. He darted as fast as he could. <laughs> There's one. Oh, another, another small guy. I know there's some bigger ones out here. He got off though. There's another little one pulling up out of these bushes. There's one. That one I just caught walking back. I was walking back to the other side and just took a cast down there and just bopped it a little bit and sure enough three or four steps and we got a fish later junior i just rolled up on pond number two and i see one two three bass sitting right here and i just saw a really big one swim by i'm trying to be quiet hold on let me see if y'all can see these guys this pond is super clear hold on There we go, fish on. It's a little bit better one. Oh, got off. Oh, there's another fish right behind it. Oh, oh, God, there's a whole school bass right here. There we go, fish on, fish on. There's a whole school of them. I don't know if y'all can see it. There's one, two, three, four, five bass right here. Let's see if another one will. Oh, he got off. Oh. oh, look at this, look at this. There's three of them just staring at it. <laughs> oh, that's too fun. Oh, I was holding on to that last one, hoping that another one would come up and bite it because it was hanging out of his mouth. So I'd get a double but I'll just get this guy in. That is too funny. You gotta love it when it's clear like that and you can see every little bit of action. Hopefully y'all could see that as well as I could. Oh my goodness. My dude absolutely inhaled this jerk bait. Check that out. Need some pliers to get that sucker out. There it goes. And there we go. Just like that. Beautiful little bass. I'm gonna go ahead and get him back in the water ASAP because his buddies are still hanging out there. Should be able to get another one of those. Whoo! Later. Oh, I slid in like a pro. There we go. Fish on. A little small bass. Couldn't resist that jerk bait. Saw him right there, hanging out. Just came up for a quick snack. Oh yeah, look at that. Just a little dink. I'll tell you what though, we need to get something besides these little dinks today. Appreciate the fight, but tell your big brothers about me. Mmm, man, I am starting to get really fed up with my camera stuff. My GoPro ended up freezing after that last fish. And after that, I ended up missing filming a six pound catch and some other quality fish because of that. So I apologize, that is on my end, I should have caught that. But hopefully y'all enjoyed the video anyways. And if you did, if you wouldn't mind, just hit that little like button, it just takes one second and really goes a long way for me and the channel. And if you haven't already and you like what we're doing here, go ahead and subscribe and turn that bell notification on. 
And as always, Bassin is a passion. Peace out.